Got a lot to say. Um, before this nigga start, let me speed this nigga up. Uh, one, two point five. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Look, um, in this video, we are going to prove mathematically why Terrence Crawford versus Boots Ennis is the fight we must see next from Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, first, I want to say this uh, before I get into the math and break everything down. Customer is king. I want you to understand this. Customer is king. No matter what any business tell you, no matter how any business try to persuade you, you are king. Customer is king. This is what I mean. First of all, I got my bachelor's in economics. I got my master's in business administration, and I own two businesses, two businesses with employees who I manage. Okay. And I would not make any money, no profit, if I do not make the product or provide the service that customers demand. So customer is king. No matter what business tried to tell you to shape you and try to push, you demand what the business should provide to you as a product and or a service. What I don't want to see in the comments is any of you justifying why a fighter and or the business of boxing is providing you with a product or service that you do not demand. The best way to know what the customer demands. Wow. You got a lot of degrees, bro. You very smart. You know what I'm saying? I got a bachelor's degree in uh, capping, and I got a master in bullshitting. So stay tuned because I'm going to do a lot of capping. I got a master's and a bachelor's on that, right? So let's go. Like, he's talking about the percentage of what the viewers want and what the fans want, the casuals, the hardcore fans, the um, whatever. But... We all know in boxing, we don't get what we want. <laughs> in boxing, we don't get what we want. The fans don't get what they want. Um, I want to see Benavidez versus Canelo. Even before we heard about Crawford going up to fight Canelo, the main fight I want to see is Benavidez versus Canelo. I want to see that fight. I've been wanting to see that fight for so long. Did we get that fight? Did the fans get what they wanted? You could do a poll on that, right? We didn't get what we wanted. Another thing, I want to see Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Now, I am. I want to see the mat rematch. I am the minority, but there's a majority out there, not just the majority of fans and the business that don't want that fight, but if we get that fight, a lot of people, a lot of fans are going to complain. Why are you going to even show this fight? It was a blowout. But me as a minority, but the minority don't count. The majority counts, right? So I would love to see that fight, right? And if it happens, Errol Spence is contractual. It's, um, I, I can't, you know, I have a bachelor's and a master's, but I can't pronounce words. But you know what I'm saying. It's in a contract. He has the right for the second rematch, depending if PBC finds a network, <laughs> if they can't find a network, well, we're just going to scratch our heads and figure that one out. Right. Um, so yes, um, fans do, and they are the part of boxing, but the fans don't always get what they want. Even when the poll is high with Canelo and Benavides, even if the poll is high that the fighters don't want to see Errol Spence and Crawford rematch, and then you, they might end up getting it Right. Because it's in a contract, right? So let's move on on some educational purposes. Because um, not just me, there's other channels out there that's going to explain the biz. Not not sh the show biz. Well, show biz though, though, yeah. And what is he saying? And why is with this Boots thing so much? Every time I turn around, it's a Boots video about what... Crawford must do. Crawford must do this. So let's go on and let's get educated. Because it's not just me. There's other channels out there. Not big channels like Showbiz the Adult, Fanon, Best Fight the Best, whoever you want to call this big, right? That can manipulate the minds. But the small channels count. And I bring them all together, brother. So regardless if you like me or not, small channels, it's what you're kicking in my ear. That's all that matters. I like people from a distance. You know what I'm saying? I like people from a distance. And if you're kicking something in my ear that's good, 
I'm going to promote it. And I'm going to say, go subscribe to that man. So let's move on. Because Errol Spence versus Terrence Bud Crawford got 700,000 pay-per-view buys. Now, we do know that, you know, there are people who, you know, steal the fights and string the fights and stuff like that. But this is the only number that we actually have. 700,000 pay-per-view buys. So let's just say the population is 700,000 people. They have 20,000 people who voted. Check it out. That's right. 73% of you demand Boots Ennis for Crawford as a next opponent and not Errol the Truth Spence. And I want to say this to the business of boxing. I want to say this to Terrence Bud Crawford. The people do not demand that fight. That fight may just lose money. Only 27% of the people want that fight over Boots Ennis. And that's the rematch with Errol the Truth Spence. Okay. So the demand is not there. 20,000 people, um, which is over the 16 plus thousand people that will satisfy what we want out of our survey, it satisfies it even more. Okay, so that's either a 90 over 99% confident or less than a 1% margin of error. So the customer is king. You guys demand Boots Ennis instead of Errol the True Spence. It is. All right, so I see your poll. I see your poll on your channel, right? Um, but what I'd rather see. Boots Ennis versus Crawford than a rematch with Errol Spence and Crawford. Of course, I would rather see that. But there's a contract. That's why Crawford is not making a move up to 154. Or he's, he, he, he can't fight Boots. He's in a contract. So you, showbiz, you go on Twitter and tweet Errol Spence and say, you know, man, uh, I know you have a rematch, but... Boots is more important than you. Yeah, do that. Do that to that man. Say that to the man that, um, forget about your rematch. You're wasting our time. Um, you don't deserve a rematch. You deserve to take a seat and let Crawford fight. Because you remember what you said. He must fight Boots Ennis. That's what you said. So now, I mean... The only reason Crawford said he'll stay at 147 is to fight Tank. Tank ain't active on that situation, okay? They have a plan for Tank, all right? And they ain't Crawford. That's what it is, man. So, and the only way I see it, Crawford could go up and be a four-division champion or three-time undisputed at 154. We're not talking about Canelo and none of that. Fantasy fight, that's y'all like to say, video game fight, fantasy fight. We're not talking about that. So, he can't make a move unless breach a contract. Unless uh, PBC can't find a network to show it on. Unless, a whole, a lot of less. And, unless Errol Spence say, you know what? Um, I'll take it, I'll take that contract, put it to the side, I'm going to move on. So you need to do this, showbiz. You need to tweet Errol Spence and say, man, you're wasting our time. You're keeping those bells hostage because, hey, like I always say, Crawford, he did the do. He beat Errol Spence. Now it's up to Errol Spence to do the do and set the date. Set the date. What's so long? What is it so long with the PBC? Okay, you say because they don't have a network. Okay, fine. But if they don't have a network, to put the fight on, they don't got a network for Canelo either. Right? Would that be a breach of contract? It's questions you got to ask, right? In the future. All right, so this is for education purposes only. I am a small channel, and I listen to other small channels. And these big channels, since the show Biz Adult, they making it make you feel like Crawford is ducking boots. Crawford is ducking boots. This is what they keep saying. Well, let's do the education purposes here. I'm doing this nice and smooth. Come on. Let's listen to this brother here. And like I said, um, I put other channels on my video because it's education purposes only. And if I can't say it as good as this man, I'm going to let him say it on my channel. I ain't here to make friends. I'm not here to make friends. I show support. Um... I went on his channel, OD Live. Very good brother. I listened to what he had to say. I did my own investigations about what he's saying. I just don't listen because it sounds good to the ear. 
And I did my own investigation. I did my own research because, you know, we in this age where we got Google. And whatever he's saying, it's facts. And I will show it. All right, let's move on. My question is to these big channels, right? I want y'all to keep the same energy. Man, because y'all tell the Crawford fans to keep the same energy. No, we want y'all to keep the same energy. Right? Because y'all got a group of co livers that's in y'all, you know, that's in y'all comment sections. And you feel what I'm saying? Like Showbiz the adult, right? He said, oh man, like the people, the people, they want to see the fight. I got 20,000 votes. Yeah, from your subscribers. Who are mainly girl sections. <laughs> like what? So you got a biased voting system over there. What are you talking about? And if somebody wanted to see the fight, right, y'all can go and look at the comment section because I have to, you know, I have to give them a couple of comments, right? It goes to showbiz, you know, you know, comment section, right? And I have to ask him a few questions. And the first question I asked him, well, I think the first question I asked him was, man, because he tried to deny that that BOK product they got at him that um, that they wasn't offering nothing. No, right, that he signed the Showtime, you know, Bozy's, I mean, Boots is signed the Showtime. But according to Cameron Duncan and his daddy, Cameron Duncan and his daddy both said they are not signed to Showtime. So you trying to make them be signed to Showtime when they are literally saying in their mouth, I mean right out their mouth, they never signed nothing with Showtime. Which means they could have went over to BLK Prime and fought Terrence Crawford on a one fight deal. That's what Terrence Crawford was doing. That's what Adrian Brown was about to do. Right until he got sabotaged by Al Hayman. Twitter, right? This was on the 18th of October. Rick Glazier said the fighter most affected by Tuesday hashtag Showtime hashtag boxing um, permanent closure is Boots Ennis. As we as he was a Showtime contracted fighter, not an Al Heyman or PBC fighter. And at one point three million per fight Showtime was paying him. He would be very hard pressed to find a new deal with a promoter and or a network for anywhere near that figure best regards to boots so this guy came back easy e24 and said hey he actually wasn't contracted with showtime bozy in said as much in an interview he also said they turned down the black prime offer to fight crawford out of loyalty to showtime he confirmed that Ennis was a network and promotional free agent and guess what Rick Glazier came back and said? That's flipping correct. He didn't fight Easy e 24 with that. That's correct. But the fact that Showtime spoiled Ennis with those ridiculous, per, ridiculous purses. So where, so where, where now? So where do he go now? Uh, uh, after they fight, uh, you talking about a rematch coming? It's, it's, it's supposed to be a rematch right now. It's going to get, get that IBF title up though. Oh yeah, he wanted to get that title up, and he wanted to fight for the, the rest of the title, but he wanted to get the IBF title up. Mr. If, he don't fight, if he don't fight us, Mr. 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 your son was put on the spot the other day on a, on a popular podcast platform. Can you just kind of clear the air about that and just just like talk to us real quick about what actually happened in the negotiations between Crawford and your son? Well, if, if, just to make sure. Um, Crawford was telling Boots that you never heard him call him out or anything like that. But, but you, you heard him. Of course. And all you heard him. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, me tell you, let me tell you this. I had a phone call from Blue Blood. You know Blue Blood Sports, right? Right over there. All right, my man, Blue. Blue called me up and said, Boots. I said, what's up, Blue? He said, no, I, can, I, I got a new deal for you. I said, what's the deal? I can make that fight happen with Terrence and um, Boots. I said, let's make that happen. Man. That's the fight we want. Like that, right? So he said, would you do me a favor? I said, what? Well, would you talk to um, Zab and um, the head of Blue Blood? Uh, B.O.K. Brian. Yeah. 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 I said, yeah. You know, I'll get on the phone with him. All three of them was on the phone talking to me. So when I talked to the boss, uh, the B.O.K. boss, whatever he is, and I, uh, he says, uh, yeah, well, we want you to uh, have that fight, man. You know, we can make the fight happen and all that stuff. But all along, what he really wanted to do, they want us to come over and to, to their organization. I was reading between lines. They said, yeah, if you come over here, I said, no, no, no. I'm not going to come over there. I'm with Showtime. And that's who I'm loyal to because the way they treat us. They treat us good. And there's a lot of things I can't say on, on, to 
take off. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's a lot of things that I don't have to do that other people do with your time. You know what I mean? So why would I be there and go over there? You know what I mean? So I said, no, what y'all do? Talk to Espinosa and set the fight up. And then we can go from there, you know what I mean? Because we need that fight real bad. We want that fight real bad. So he said, they said, okay, okay, you know, we'll, we'll do that. I talked to Espinosa. He said they called him, he talked to him. He talked to him and everything. And when he talked to him, he said, uh, they really wasn't really talking about, uh, you know, about fighting. He said, man, listen, whenever y'all ready to make the fight happen, we can make the fight happen like that. And that's all Espinosa told me. He said, man, they supposed to call me back and set everything up. They never called him back. So. One thing that, that Crawford did bring up is that essentially he said that you abandoned the pursuit of the WBO title and decided to go the IBF route and he's taking it kind of as like a swerve, but it sounded to me like Crawford out of the guys is the guy that you really, really want. Can you confirm that? I wanted both of them. The hell man spent. So listen to this. Mm. When Crawford did say, Crawford said that, right? Yeah. He, 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 don't, he probably don't even know. They probably didn't even involve him in, in the conversation at all. And like I told Crawford, I mean, if y'all seen the interview with me and Crawford, the man who was talking, was, uh, Gilly was saying, um, yo, Bo, I said, what's up? Because he had uh, FaceTime me first, and I didn't know it was him. So uh, then he texted me, he said, Bo, this is Gilly. So I, so I hit him back. He said, uh, Crawford's in it. So, you know, I quickly hit him back like Crawford did. So that's, you know, Crawford, that's my man. I like Crawford. So we talking, he said, man, I heard uh, y'all turn it down. Now, Gilly know the truth, all but you know, that's what he got to say. Like, you just got to say what you have to say. So uh, I said, man, that's a lie. And I explained to him the same thing I explained to y'all just now. And I said, Crawford, and you know the truth, man. Who's been trying to fight you since 2018? You win Spence. We want to see where we, we coming from, because y'all two are the best. So why would you, I mean, why would I... Um... Why do you think Crawford would kind of say that anyways? Um, well, that's what fighters, some fighters do, man. They want to they wanna make uh, uh, everybody think they are uh, more than what they really is when it comes down to it. You know what I mean? And like I told Spick, I mean, told um, Crawford, I said, Crawford, we've been wanting to fight you, and you know it. He said, that's what he said about taking that out of the group. Why would we take that group? The WBO, who was already the IBF manager. So we weren't even looking at that. We was number two or number three uh, in WBO. Right? And now think this, we're number two. I said, now, since you run in your mouth, that's what I told him. I said, why did you take amnesthesia, not, not amnesia, amnesthesia before us? We was number two. You know what I mean? You could have given two quarter. Oh, he's, you see, he shut up. Like I said that. Well, I and I said, know. I don't turn nothing down but my cop. I think what a lot of people may not understand all the time yeah. is that when you agree to fight, or a certain sanctioning body, right. you kind of relinquish your position Sanction. Sanction. with the other sanctioning Sanction. body. So are you saying that that's what, what happened in this case and why you decided to stick with no, the no, group no. that you were sticking with? I stuck with the group because we was number one for that title. Yeah. And we everybody told me, he, he have to fight us now. If, if, okay. if I'm not mistaken, you always, I mean, you said you always wanted to fight either Spence or Crawford, but yeah. if you had a preference, it would probably be Spence because he yeah. had three belts. Yeah, you hit it on the nose. But with, the, the, fight, nose. with the fight being made now, and it seems like the winner's either going to move up. Both of them might even move to 54 or even rematch. There's a guy like Ugas Thurman in your way. I had to come down to the dungeon. It's getting a little crowded up there on the, other, on the other floor. But I did that video with Boozy Ennis. And in the beginning, I showed that he said something about um, the IBF. Now, if he was hoping that Errol Spence would win, and if Errol Spence won the fight, then... If he don't fight Boos Ennis, if Arrow don't fight Boos Ennis, he will get stripped of the IBF belt. So his route was there. And he said it in this video. Right? It has nothing to do about Crawford. That has nothing to do about Crawford um, ducking boots. Right? That's one. Now, he also said in that thing that Blue Blood reached out to him. But you have to understand, Blue Blood didn't reach out to you as yet, Bozy. He reached out. To Crawford. And when he reached out to Crawford, if I recall, it was in the 7 Eleven. And he was talking about Black Prime. We all know, well, not a lot of people know, a lot of people wasn't listening. But um, Blue Blood been promoting Black Prime. I heard him all the time talk about Black Prime, way before this situation happened with Bo Boozy Ennis and whatever. So when, he, when Blue Blood spoke to Crawford in the 7 Eleven, and speaking about 
a platform for this to happen, he brought up he brought up Jerron Bruce Ennis. So Crawford got the AOK -okay and said, all right, make the fight happen. Make the fight happen. I recall this and I remember this vividly when y'all was getting on Black Prime. And I'm going to tell you right now, you Wakandas, you better hope that the PBC do not go with Black Prime. Because if you do, oh my gosh, I'm going to let you know right now. Y'all got videos bashing Black Prime. You better not let that shit hit you back in your face. Because I already recorded every little last video of all your Wakandas just in case it happens. I'm just waiting to see where the PBC go. But just in case, before your Wakandas want to go back to your videos and, 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 and the, 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 the videos you was making bashing Black Prime, try to erase it. I'm going to let you know I got it on all your channels. I'm ready to play it back. So you better pray. You better pray it don't even come down to PBC going with Black Prime. Okay? So in that video, Crawford already told Blue Blood. Blue Blood is not going to step over anybody's toes and tell Bozy Ennis that we can make the fight with Crawford without Crawford knowing. Blue Blood spoke to Crawford before he, before he spoke to Bozy. So now, after he told Bozy that Crawford is willing to make the fight on Black Prime... That's when the issue happened because you in that video says you're loyal. I did my, um, I did show you about Rick Glazier. Now, if you're not a Rick Glazier fan, that's all good. It's all cool. But, um, the thing is that is Boots Jerron Ennis, is he signed to the, signed to the, um, what I was about to say, signed to Showtime. Is he signed to Showtime? Well, I did my little investigation, right? And I'll show you right here. All right, so, you know, he was signed for a three-fight deal. He fought Custal Clayton. I think his last fight was um, Villa. So I don't know if it's a three-fight deal, but it was a, it was a, a, a multiple-fight deal with the Showtime, right? But let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Um, is Canelo signed to the PBC? Yeah, he is. There's truth to it. He's signed to the PBC. I remember when Canelo signed to the PBC to fight Kalen Plant. One fight deal. One fight deal. Then he split. Then PBC offered a three fight deal with Spence. Uh, this one, that one, or whatever. He didn't take the offer. Then all of a sudden, the offer came about again. He could choose whatever three fights he wants. So now he's signed with the PBC right now. But I'm asking you, is he a free agent? Is he a free agent? Is Canelo, see, I had to bring this up. Is Canelo a, still a free agent? Um, to, I had to start with him first. Terrence Crawford. Um. Well, I don't think he signed to the PBC. I think, because I think the management company of Errol Spence, but let's just say, you know, because it was on Showtime platform, right? But it's a two-fight deal. I don't know if it's what PBC or Showtime. I really don't know. I just know the PBC and Showtime are like this. That's it, right? But if you hear Errol Spence say, well, I feel like I got played, then he went out and got a, a management company and then... Crawford got his his managing company and they came together and presented the fight and it was put on Showtime. Well, that's what it is. Al Heyman did not want this fight to happen. And I feel like Ahab, Al Heyman had nothing to do with it. But let's just say he made a fight, a two fight deal. Right. I don't know with Showtime or whoever. Is Terrence Crawford a, still a free agent? Yes, he is. He's still a free agent because once those two fights or those multiple deals with Canelo is over, he can move on and fight on the zone, fight here, fight wherever he wants to fight. That's that's the, that's the key. So there's some truth that he was signed, but it wasn't a definite like, listen, the way I see it, Showtime didn't have any faith in Jerome Boussinis. No faith in all. Because if Jerome Boos Ennis has a three-fight deal, right? 
And he says, in between my fight deal, I want to fight. Now, I don't know if this fight goes fight by fight by fight by fight with Showtime. But if he says, listen, man, I got an opportunity, Espinosa, to go on Black Prime. I know it's big network eats up little network. And I know that y'all too, you want me to fight on your platform in every fight. But I can guarantee you that if I go on Black Prime and fight Crawford, I am bringing those belts back. I am bringing something back to Showtime. Wait, wait, let, stop this. Hold, hold the video. I'll get back to that, right? It just came in my mind the next day. Now, if Showtime and Espinosa, right, had any faith in you, you're a free agent. You could have gone over there to Black Prime, stop being loyal, go over there with Black Prime, right? Show your loyalty and, and, and see if Espinosa has enough, enough faith in you to go over there, beat. <laughs> Beat Bud Crawford on Black Prime Get that WBO strap Bring it back to Showtime The fight between you and Spence will be much easier Because Showtime and PBC is like this, right? So, and guess what? Then you would have had the opportunity, my friend Opportunity boots Jerron Ennis To unify and be the first undisputed champion At the age of 24 or whatever age you at And you, you, you gave that up? Because of loyalty? All right, back to regular schedule program. Showtime had no, 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 no faith in you. No faith in you at all, brother. No faith. Because that would have been better business to have a champion fighting at Showtime. You have nothing right now. Nothing but your name and your skills. That's it. So, yes, he was signed. Two fight, three fight, but the man is still a free agent. He had nothing to do with the PBC. Nothing to do with the PBC. Canelo has something to do with the PBC. That's a little bit more worse to me, right? He's with the PBC. But like I said, if you ain't got no network and you're not with Showtime no more, let's see how far that's going to go in the future with Canelo. That's about it. I'm going to talk about that. Um, and they're going to have to fight a network for Canelo to fight on. Okay, so I, I, I'm not getting this thing where Boozy Ennis thinks that, you know, you relinquishing your position with the WBO, right? Knowing that you was with the IBF and the W, two sanctioned bodies, two sanctioned bodies. Let's hear from Crawford. Come on, let's hear from Crawford. So, what we know? I don't know nothing. I'm trying to find out what, what I know. Enlighten me. To me, you, 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 I, easy, you, could me. you jumped up out of my my sanction body to go fight in the IBF. So what I know? You mean? What you mean? What I mean? Would you rank that in the WBA or not? Yo, I'm part of the WBA. Yo, yo, All right, yo, catch yo, up, yo, little yo, homie. Yo, catch up, man. Yo, if it don't matter, catch up. Yo, you pick, they, catch easy, up. Way you just said it don't matter. Catch up. I'm talking about he's before not, that. Not about it. We already, we already know he's not about what he's talking about. I'm not about what. I'm not about you what. You want? You don't want to fight? You said I'm not about what? You don't want to fight? Man, go to sleep. Go to sleep. You, you dreaming, man? You talking to your dreams, you don't man? Don't fight. Yo, we we asked for that fight plenty of times. Yo. Plenty Man. When? Plenty of times. What's plenty? When? Man, you're right. Man, you're fine. You lose. You're fine. What we know? I, I did that. I, all this stuttering. All this stuttering. Crawford's talking to you. Why did you get out of my, my WBO, WBO sanction body if you wanted me so badly? But, but the, 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 you, you, you didn't want to fight me. You wanted to fight David Avenesian. But we just proved. That you was first. And Boozy, your father proved it. That Blue Blood came to him presenting the fight with Crawford. You going to tell me that Crawford didn't know about that? After he spoke to him in 7-Eleven? But you... And you said, yo, you know, remind, you know who he remind me of all that stuttering? Because, you know, Boozy, he, he stutters sometimes, man. But it just it's like a flashback. Look at the flashback. You ready for next week? <laughs> ready? <laughs> hey, I'm having a lot of money on you, man. Uh, well, uh, you, you, uh, you, 
getting ready to be a rich nigga. You see, cause, uh, cause, uh, come, uh, next, next week, I, uh, I, I'm knocking somebody the fuck out. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying. I understand now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, go take a nap, man. Take a nap. Do what Crawford tell you. Go take a nap, man. Because the man's telling you, why did you get out the WBO if you wanted me so much? You wanted Spence and, and, and Crawford. The proof is in the pudding. The, the, the pudding. It's in the pudding, man. But as I showed you, Boozy Anna saying, yeah, when Errol, if Errol don't fight us, he's going he's gonna, he, to gonna have, he gonna have to drop that IBF belt. And we in the position for that IBF belt. So that's the road y'all took. That ain't Crawford's road. That shows proof right there that you ducked the man. You wanted just Errol Spence. You didn't want Crawford after that. You wanted the IBF belt, not Crawford. If you wanted Crawford, you would have kept your ass where you at. You was up there, I think, in the WBO, Virgil Ortiz. Then it was Boots second and third, right, in that WBO. Two rankings. And then he was ranked up there high, number one, in the IBF. So you didn't do have to do anything, bro. You was there ranked. But you choose to, 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 to exclude the other sanctioned bodies and go with the IBF. So what I'm saying now is this. 2023, let's look at this, let's look at the sanctioned bodies. Because you know, everybody's like, who's David Avenesian? Who's this dude? This dude, he doesn't deserve to fight on Black Prime and Black Prime. Who is Black Prime and 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 how dare Crawford gets set ten million? Oh, it's not ten million. Well, if it's eight, it's it, okay. If it's nine, if if it's seven, well, then it's more than six million that he made with Sean Porter on not Showtime, ESPN. And like I remind you, um, Sean Porter made his highest on no, not Showtime, ESPN, four million. On ESPN, wasn't Showtime that 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 Sean Porter fought Crawford, right? So let's look at the sanction. Let's do a little update on this David Avenesian and where he belongs. This is 147 WBC, right? So let's look at where David Avenesian. Okay, he's at number seven in the WBC. He's in the top ten still at this very moment. Okay, still in the WBO, he was sixth or seventh, right? He's not there anymore. Right, um, Errol Spence in the WBA is fifth. Um, I don't see any David Avin. Oh, David Avenesian is a number eleven, and then there's Alexa Rocha in the IBF. Where's David Avenesian? Any more David Avenesian? Okay, so he's not there anymore, right? In the in the in the WBO, right? But he's ranked number eleven in the IBF. Um. And also, he's ranked number seven in the WBC, right? I don't know why your your Danis Ugas is number two. I don't listen. And look, look, let's look at the WBA. Terence Crawford and Standonius. I will get back to him in a minute, but let's move up to one blood clot fifty four, right? One fifty four, middleweight, junior middleweight, welterweight. Arrow Spence that haven't done our. Bumba clot thing at 154 is at fucking ranking number three. There you go. There your blood clot boy Errol spins at. Right? But then you go down here and bi people bitching and complaining about uh, who's next for Terrence Crawford. Who's next for Terrence Crawford? Stand the onus. Stand the onus. All right, let me let you see my face when I say this shit. Let's do some more education purposes only, man. Because th 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 this shit is fucking in that... This shit, this is some dota shit, man. And showbiz, yeah, let me just move on. Come on, let's do some education of purposes here. Y'all was pushing Sean Porter on Terrence Crawford, right? Because y'all was trying to hold Earl Spence Jr., right? Y'all wanted Terrence Crawford to go through this gauntlet. Right? He had to go through this gauntlet of fighters just to be, right? Just to have the privilege to fight Earl Spence Jr. That's how y'all was, that's how y'all was making it look. Oh, he got to gain the privilege to fight Earl. Right? A more accomplished fighter. Done more in the sport, he has to gain the privilege to fight Earl. Right? Let me play something that show this. He has said too, right? See, look, and I want y'all to. Uh, the title says Canelo versus Spence. Last fight of three fight deal. What you think? 
Preach. Salute he guys, salute so pro. Right? Man, like, and I want y'all to hear this, right? Preach. They don't have the same energy for Crawford challenging Canelo. But when it was come down to Spence, they was hoping that it happened. See, you see how the energy changed? <laughs> this community is going to be saying with polls and everything, screaming out what we want. Really, hold on, wait a second. Damn, Marie, yes, you heard about that. Uh, we're, 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 talking about we're talking about that tomorrow uh, in the uh, Joe Business Morning podcast. But I just want to say it's a pre fight deal. It's extremely exciting. Listen, I don't know if Errol Spence will be a part of that, and I'm, I'm hoping so. But Errol Spence has to get past that property. Look, that. look, I don't know if Errol Spence Jr. is going to be a part of that, but I'm hoping so. Right, so he get annihilated. Now, Crawford want to challenge you. Oh, no, man, but Crawford, man, he got to stay away from Canelo. Man, no, 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 man. He don't deserve a cash out fight. So what the hell was Earl going to do? This is just how stupid it sounded when Sean Porter lost. Right? When Sean Porter lost to Earl Smith Jr. and they pushed Sean Porter on Terrence Crawford. Man, that's just how stupid it is. So I'm pushing... Earl Spence Jr., who just lost, I'm pushing him on Jerron Boots Ennis. Right? I'm just keeping the same energy. Earl Spence Jr., he lost, so he needs to go and fight Jerron Boots Ennis. Right? So he can, man, so Jerron Boots Ennis can gain the privilege, right, to fight Terrence Crawford. That's how y'all was making the scene with Earl Spence Jr. Keep the same energy. So Jerron Boots Ennis, he got to fight Earl Spence Jr. And if he don't get no fight with Earl Spence Jr., oh well, he don't get no fight with Crawford. Oh well. That's how y'all was making it seem like if shit, Terrence Crawford, if he don't fight Sean Porter, he ducking it. He don't deserve a fight with Earl. That's how y'all was doing. See, the shit don't be no fun when the rabbit got the gun. It's no, it's no fun when the rabbit got the gun, man. It's no fun when the roles are reversed and you can reverse the shit they've been saying for years back on them. Right? What they gonna say? Oh, man, that sounds stupid. Well, the shit you said back in the day sounded stupid. And we was telling you that that sounded stupid. But did you listen? No, you got the bigger platform, so you was pushing the shit. Well said, OD Live. Well said. And I was thinking, I was like, listen, man. You know, did, did Errol Spence and Crawford was going through these negotiations to fight on Showtime. But see, these Wakandas, they would have wanted, just like they had to put Sean Porter in front of Errol Spence just to waste more time. They would have... You know, I, and I'm saying to myself, how the hell Showtime, Espinosa, they can't come to agreement to make the fight happen on their network, right? With, 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 with Errol Spence, and Errol Spence feel like he's being played and everything. But you want to bypass Errol Spence that has three belts, right? And you want Crawford to fight on that big network platform, bypass Errol Spence, and fight Boos Ennis. Now, I know the Wakandas would have loved that because, you know... If it's not Sean Porter, um, it's another fucking fight. And, you know, just like Crawford said, by the time I fight this man, um, you want to say he's weight drained. And, and look what the prediction came out to be. That's all y'all complaining about right now. Well said, OD Live, about Sean Porter. And now who got the gun? The rabbit. The rascally rabbit. We got the gun now. Yeah, it is what it is. And I love how you show that little piece with... With with uh, showbiz hypocrisy, talking about yeah, we would love to see that fight with Errol Spence at um from one forty seven to move up three weight divisions to fight Canelo. <laughs> That's my laugh that OD live OD live do. I love that laugh, man. Yo, go and subscribe to OD live. He is the Dave Chappelle. He is the Dave Chappelle channel, man. The man's voice and the man's laugh. All I could hear in my brain when he laughed is, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> yeah, but okay, let me end this because this is long. This is long, right? But Showbiz, if any of your Showbiz Dominions are watching this, can you please send it to Showbiz? Because I'm sure he's going to do just like Knockout, Best Fight the Best, Manager Marty. All of them going to pretend like they don't want to see me or hear me or even say my name, dude. They won't even say my name. But like I tell my, my subscribers out there that, that watch my videos, I get on these dudes and I make many videos. So anytime you got a problem with these dudes and you don't like what they're saying, just scroll down. Best fight the best. Knockout. Manage the Marty. I just did part one, two, or two, part three, part four. And get a kick and a laugh of the hypocrisy. Now, y'all got to understand, I'm caps and full. 
The only reason why they call me Caps, because if I ain't got my glasses, glasses, I'm misspelling, and I ain't see what the hell I'm watching close on the phone, right? Because I do all my videos on my phone. <laughs> Basically, I had a laptop just to monetize. Half these videos, I even monetize it. I got to go monetize them, right? Um, But these dudes, man, I, I'm not mad. See, I'm not mad. I go on your videos to show you examples and hypocrisy. And these little channels like us, no matter if they have 400, 200, 500, 800, 1,000, if they talking that truth, it's going in my ear and it's coming out my mouth and I'm going to repeat it. And I'm going to shoot you straight forward to that channel. Straight forward to that channel to subscribe. All right? And if you're talking dumb shit and rubbish coming out your mouth, your, your mouth smell like shit for popping all that shit. From, from from speaking out your ass, hold that down, nigga. I will show you. You are an example on my vi on my channel, and that's it. And I know these niggas don't like me, but I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to. I'm a one man army, and it's fucking on, son. I, it's on. And the other reason why they call me cap because I cap, and I'm schizo, and sometimes I'm not on my meds. It is what it is, man. So I don't care what you say about me. I love it. But y'all don't want to give me that promotion. You know why? Because I got that fucking... You know, I just got that swag, nigga. I just got that swag, man. And it's all good. My time will come. Like, share, and subscribe. But wait a minute. It was something that Tim Zhu, my brother Tim Zhu from Australia, wanted to show you. Yeah, I want to show you what he should want. He want to show you. Yeah, you. You Wakanda. Yeah, that's the hit list. Tim Zoo hit list. It got Crawford on there, and it also got Canelo. But I'm not hearing a damn ting. Not a ting. Stop the video one more time. One more time. Now, if Crawford goes up to fight Tim Zoo, because I think I just heard that the WB ordered and is letting Terrence Crawford to move up. But he can't move up because he got this contract right now. And we don't know where this contract going with Errol Spence, right? But he's going to be allowed to move up and fight Tim Zhu. And Tim Zhu is going to have the opportunity to fight Crawford. Great. But I'm saying, showbiz, if that happens, I am guaranteed. I hope you do your best to say that Terrence Crawford is ducking Boost Ennis to be a four-division champion, Right? And in a, and, and to put him in a in a in a position to be undisputed to fight Charlo, I hope that you make videos saying that Terrence Crawford is a is a dingbat and a do a doofus and a, and a, and and doches and stupid and a mutter cunt from going up to be four division, and in a position to be undisputed because he's ducking boots. Boots is more important than being four division or undisputed. So I'm hoping, my brother. That you make these videos as ASP if I hear Crawford decides to move up. Let's go back to our regular schedule program. Yes. Not a Ross Clark thing, you mother cunt. None of your mother cunts talking. None of y'all. None of y'all talking, you mother cunt out, your mother cunt. Your mother cunt. Yeah, y'all ain't talking shit about that. But Crawford. Canelo, oh my God, oh my God, how can you say that? How can that dark-skinned man say that? <laughs> All right, man, Tim DeZoo, I like your hit list, man, and the sky's the limit, just like Crawford, the sky's the limit. If you feel like you go up there and fight Canelo, more power to you, man. Like, share, subscribe, <sighs> finally remember to say it. Um, I'm not here to change your mind, I'm here to irritate your mind. It's not what they say, it's what they're not saying, and I'm out. <laughs> Showbiz, we working.